Cathedral crucifixes sit soundly apex as protruding hurled ivory cherubs nestle sweetly among indigo skies. Bells resound throughout the halls and pillars awaken spirits who moan from anarchy's fierce resolve. An odyssey of fibrotic misfits congealed together by ailing intelligence applaud ferociously at the neuroses of misconduct, diluted realities, deteriorating inhibitions, abstract thinking, murderers, and deviants, intentionally incognizant, turning blind eye to monsters and ne'er-do-wells who thrive on selfishness and the inconsistencies of compassion, charging forward in a retrograde of motion seeking aberration, ruins upon ruins, decaying nations, depleted spirits, man that knighted himself God, who run on the edges of letters, delving toward fire and brimstone, speaking evil of relish desires, fraudulence, and duplicities, those who fight for Satan's scarlet cunts and wenches beneath elliptic skies to frolic with relics. Hollow screams from empty tombs echoes, finding death in its lustful embrace, kissing and salivating parchment worms. Man-made purgatory's methodical torment is our punishment for disobedience, hell on earth. In the hush of sunset beneath shallow placid waters, we've buried our living next to the dead, adorning their breasts with beds of carnations, muting and concealing truths and legacies. Amity should avail between planets and nations, sinners and prophets, man and humanity, but cowardly. Cowardly we hide between the notes of Mozart's sonatas, hoping not to be seen for what we are on paper.